and welcome back to another episode from the Block Breaking SMP. My name is Captain Davy Boy, and this here is Crackers. What do you think of the ship, Crackers? Ah? Uh, Crackers likes the ship. Ah? Uh? Well, that's great, Crackers. I oh, I can't keep this voice up, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's really hurting my throat. I was planning. <laughs> I was planning on doing the whole episode like this, but that's not going to happen. That's just not going to happen. <laughs> oh, okay, guys. So I've been hanging out in the ship, hanging out with Crackers here. Going a bit sa insane, clearly. Going a little bit mental. But, um, yeah, look, I've really been enjoying the ship, guys. I've uh, just been flying around, just checking it out. And I probably shouldn't be, because I have 960 Yay! levels. So <laughs> we are very, very close to the 1,000, guys. So, uh... I'm pretty excited about that. I still don't know what I'm going to do, but we're, we're nearly at a thousand. So that's the main thing. So just check out the ship from all these angles, guys. It looks so cool. Um, so happy with it. I'm very, very scared of creepers. But this ship has come up amazing. I love it. Love it. So in today's episode, guys, I've got a few plans, but nothing... Nothing real major. I think we're just going to just tidy up this area around here and get rid of the torches because I don't like torches. So I'm thinking of just tidying up these little areas here and making them look a bit prettier. Um, and also I've got plans to do something out here. I want to do something in this area here. So I'll leave that for a bit late. Oh, there's a cow there. A floating cow. Hey, buddy. Um, yeah, so I've got a plan of what I want to build out here, guys. But we'll see if we can make it happen later on in the episode but first i want to head over to the shopping district and show you guys a shop that uh that radness has built well it's actually not a shop it's a it's a guild so it's called the wanderers guild so let's go check it out and uh see what that's all about okay guys so here it is this is a, a build from radness um isn't it amazing i love the roof it's so so good it's uh, obviously some snow layers uh, on top of snow blocks, so it just looks so good. I love it. It's such a beautiful build. Um, let's go check out what it's all about. So um, what it is, is I think he's called it the Wanderer's Guild. Where do we... Oh, hello? Oh, <laughs> what is that? Bartender. Aha, uh -huh. I'm going to stay well away from you, buddy. You're not taking my levels, mate. Maybe honey blocks down there? Is that why you're not moving? I'm staying well away from you, buddy. So, what do we got here? We got the quest board. So, let me let me figure this out, guys. I think it's this is the quest board. Where does it say uh, maybe it's this one? Here we go. Welcome to the Wanderer's Refuge. The tavern for everyone to enjoy and drink and take some rest. Also home of the Wanderer's Guild. If you would like to join the guild... Oh, I think I would like to join. Then keep reading. The Wanderer's Guild. For a small entrance fee, you'll be able to join the guild and enjoy its perks. In the guild, there'll be four ranks. Guildmaster, Honorary Guild Member, Wanderer's Guild Member, and Guild Member. Okay. Guild Member. For three diamonds, you'll be able to become a guild member, which allows you to put up quests you don't want to do yourself with rewards. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Only higher team members will be able to take on the quests. Okay. Wanderer's Guild member. For six diamonds, you'll be able to become a Wanderer's member, which allows you to take quests from the quest board and earn the rewards that come with it. Interesting. Honorary Guild member. For one diamond block, your head... At you, uh, for one, sorry, for one diamond block and your head, you'll be able to become an honorary member. This will give you the seat at the table and the, and an armoured display of you in the guild room. Where's the guild room? That must be upstairs. Okay, let's check that out. Um, guild master. A higher rank will give you more perks and perhaps sometimes you'll even receive some gifts. Hmm, nice, I like gifts. Every member will receive a guild blade depending on their rank, uh, depending on the rank they're in to join um to join them for questions you can ask the guild master which is obviously redness all right so i think we want to be an honorary guild member 
Yeah. I think we want to do that. Armor display. Yeah, we definitely want to do an honorary guild member. So we'll give a diamond block. Um, let's put in a diamond block. Oh, also, I just put him. Okay. Player head. Block of diamond. Okay, I don't have... Well, I'm not going to give you my head just yet, Rad. <laughs> but I will give you a diamond block. And maybe rename that so he knows that it's me. Oh, should I name it Captain Davy Boy? <laughs> he won't have a clue who that is. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Captain Davy Boy. <laughs> no, I better not. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm making myself laugh here. Um, all right, so let's put that in there. And we'll get a play ahead maybe after we get to a thousand levels. Or maybe I can ask someone else if they've got my head and we can we can pop that in here. But doesn't this build look amazing, guys? Um, looks amazing. Actually, let's... Time Riders quest. So, so people are putting quests in here. Iron farm. Oh. <laughs> so Riley wants people to build farms for him? Is that a quest? Well, yeah, I do like making iron farms. Me neither. <laughs> but at least you'll get paid. You can take 32 diamonds for every extra section you add onto the token. Yeah, nah. Thanks, mate. You can have that. Truffle of trees? What are truffle of trees? There are currently 12 trees, all additional trees that will be made. Oh, he's got some colourful trees in. I like that looks like truffle trees. Right. Okay, I'm not making trees. I don't like making trees. Raid farm. Humbly requests construction of a raid farm. Yeah, nah. Okay, I think we might have to think of some... Um, think of some um, for ourselves, guys, to some quests. So people can do our quests. I think that could be cool. So let's head up. What was... Oh, that thing. Ah, uh, so this is the... The guild room. The guild members room. Oh, that's cool. So that's Riley. That's Rockling. Uh, we've got Time and Wire. Um, and Mike. So my head would look pretty nice up there. And then obviously the, the Master Rad there. That's very cool. Um, Alright, so I think we need to do that, guys. Should I, should I... Should we do it as the pirate skin? Or should we do it as the normal hardwood skin? I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment in the comment section. I think I'm leaning towards the pirate skin to be honest. All right, so um, that's all I wanted to show you guys. I'll have to have a think about some quests that we need to do. Um, but I've been uh, busy with, obviously, the pirate ship for <laughs> almost like a week. Been taken forever. How close can I get to this guy before he hits me? Actually, no, that's too close. I'm scared. Too many levels. Uh, let's do a bit of a fly around the shopping district, actually, guys, just to see if there's anything new that's popped up. We've got a couple of big buildings over here. I think this is the Telk building and the main Moscow headquarters, I think this is going to be. I do need to catch up with time and ask him um, if he needs a hand with any, with any of this stuff. But, uh, wow, this is looking very concrete isn't it? <laughs> this is looking like a city or a concrete paradise. Oh, what have we got? Mob City over here. <laughs> but who would kill a turtle? Who would kill an innocent turtle? Shame on you, whoever that was. Shame on you. I keep forgetting I'm a pirate. Uh, a pirate saying shame on you for killing a turtle. That's uh, ironic. All right, we've got a bit of a mob farm going on over here. What is this? I, I've been out of, out of action for a few days, guys, and there's a lot happening on the server. Let's go ahead into the... Am I allowed in here? I'm assuming I'm allowed in here. I'm not part of Telk, but can I actually get in here? How do you get in? Where's the main front? This looks like a front door here. Yeah, here we go. Not for resale. What's this? Are, these, are they selling anything in here? Oh, wow, this is actually very cool. Two tokens per stack. So that, I believe the currency is five tokens for a diamond. I think that's, that's right. So essentially that's... Yeah, two diamonds, two and a half stacks for a diamond. That's not too bad. Um, 
Alright, so hmm, he's trying to put Ooh, quartz. One token per step. Alright, okay. Wow, they'd like I thought they're gonna be selling like absolutely everything, guys. Wow. Now that Riley's given me all these diamonds, I might as well just give them back to, to him and just be lazy for the rest of the season, maybe. Alright, so this is I think that's the plan of just having multiple little sections here to sell each and every item in the game. That looks like his plan. I'd say, oh, wow, this place is huge. Wow. Okay. Good to know. Good to just check out the competition. Very, very good. All right, guys, we might head back to base now and maybe just... How do you get out of here? <laughs> it's like um, one of those, it's like, uh, uh, what's it called? Like Ikea. Well, yeah, there's the entranceway and you've got to go through every little section to get out. I know what you're up to, Riley. I know exactly what you're up to. Okay, guys, so we're back at base and I'm just going to do a little bit of a general cleanup of the torches and put some hidden lighting around the place. So it's just going to look really, really cool. It's going to tidy everything up a little bit. I've still got torches on that side as well. So tidying that up is going to look a lot nicer, I think. So. I'm also going to build something really, really cool on the cliff face behind me. So I'm just going to get building for a, a day or two, maybe. <laughs> I'm not going to roll a time lapse or anything like that. I'm just going to do some building for, for a little bit and, and chill out and bring you guys back uh, when I've got something to show you. Guys, I've got some really, really bad news. I AFK'd over at the copper farm. And this happened. Oh no! Oh no! Um. Oh no! Uh, oh no! I had 900 and something, 70 levels! Oh no! What's happened? Um. Um. I'll have to leave that there. Um. Oh no! What? Oh, I'm shattered. I was so close. Oh no. What is going on here? Oh no. Oh, it would have. Oh, what is. Oh, I bet you a baby zombie's coming or something. Oh, I'm absolutely shattered. Oh, that's that's you, isn't it, mate? Oh, oh no. Um uh, uh. <laughs> Oh no. Okay. Now I know what's killed me, guys. This little baby zombert. Oh, actually better <laughs> my sounds on. Uh, this was a little present from uh, Wire and Rad, by the way. It's a nice little alarm clock for me. Don't you think? It's very nice. <laughs> very nice. I've been AFK here, obviously, for a long time. And, uh, yeah, they decided to leave me a little present. So, appreciate that, Rad and Wire. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to turn my sounds down again. Um... Oh no, I am absolutely shattered guys. I was so close to a thousand and all for a baby zombird again. Ah, oh, you. I don't even have my sword. I am absolutely shattered. Got my ax, that'll do. Oh, bye mate kind of fitting. Oh, what? How? Oh, no, I didn't even get that much copper. Well, guys, I guess that's it for the 1,000 XP challenge. I don't think I'll be trying that again. And all to be killed by a baby zombie. I'm shattered. I am absolutely shattered. Okay, guys, so it's been about five days since 
the incident. And I'm just going to forget that that ever happened. I was never going for a thousand levels. I don't know what you guys are talking about. That never happened. I'm still shattered if you can't tell. But anyway, let's move on. Um, so I've spent about the last five days building this thing on the side of my mountain. So it's Skull Island out of Peter Pan, guys, and I'll put a reference picture up on the screen now that you guys can check out. So that's my inspiration pick. So I hope I've done it some, some justice. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool, guys. I'm super happy with it. So let me show you how it turned out. And there it is, guys. How good does that look? I'm so, so happy with it. It just looks, I don't know, it just looks really cool. I've, I've made it so you can fly through the eyes and the mouth down the bottom, the, the, the mouth of the skull down the bottom. And I've also kept a fair chunk of that, that area. Um, let me do that. That area in the middle there. I've left that open so I can just fly in and out if I, if I want to. I've just found myself just flying around, just just admiring my uh, admiring my build. So it's 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 come along really really well. I think I'm, I'm super happy with it. So it's got some deep slate accents in the in the nose and around the sort of teeth area, as well as inside the the eyes there. So it's given that illusion that it actually is darker than than what it is as well. I've used. Um, Glow lichen as a lighting source, so it's it's just enough so it doesn't spawn any baddies uh, in uh, in the eyes and in the nose and stuff. I haven't lit up the the top areas yet, so I don't think I will. It just looks better. Actually, let me show you at night time. That might be better. And just like that, it's night time. <laughs> the magic of editing, huh? So, what do you guys think of it at night time? I think it looks even better at night, just with the little bits of lighting scattered around here and there. The glow lichen is really an underrated light source, I think, in 1.18. I love it now. I've just used it everywhere. I think I, I bought Wire's shop out of, uh, out of Lycan. I think I, you know, three stacks for a diamond, so I bought the whole, uh, <laughs> I bought the whole chest of Lycan. Um, so he's, um, he's finally made some sales there, so congrats, Wire. But um, I'm so happy with this build, guys. Um, let's just fly around out here for a little bit longer. And... That is cool. All right, so let's check out what I've done, guys. So basically, it's mainly just stone, but I've got some cobblestone and andesite accents of like just lighter color blocks here and there to sort of signify like the sun reflecting on certain parts of the, the skull. Um, and on the nose area in the middle here, I've got some um, carpet on top of andesite and cobblestone um, just because it sticks out a little bit from the skull to make it a little bit lighter. Got some lighter areas over here as well. Um, and as I was saying before, the deep slate sort of in the back section of the eye sockets and in the nose. So I'll see if I can go down here and show you that as well. So in here, and I can't get up there. Anyway, you guys get the point. It's pretty cool, and I'm pretty happy with it, except for the these guys. Did I get him? Yay! <laughs> so I've also removed all the torches. From around these sort of stony areas around the place. Oh, there's a couple there that I missed. But um, I just think it looks a lot better being just lit up with glow lichen instead of the torch spam that we had before. So didn't take me long, but it has really made a huge difference, I think. So um, I just like the look of it here. It's all spawn proof, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So, oh, I've missed another torch over there. Anyway, I'll get to that later. But yeah, what do you think, guys? I think it looks a lot better without the torches and with a huge skull in the side of the mountain. It's so cool. Love it. Love it. So I guess we'll wrap it up there for another episode, guys. We uh, got a fair bit done this week. We joined the Wanderers Guild. We got ourselves a new pirate skin. We built this amazing skull on the side of the mountain here. We cleaned up all the torque spam within the cave system, which looks so much better. Super happy with it. Looks good. Um, I guess I wanted to let you guys know I'm going to take a little break from the, the SMP for a couple of weeks. I'm going to get back to my single player world. I'm just missing the zoo, so I want to get some animals into the zoo in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for those episodes. I've also got some bloopers coming up, so stick around. Anyway, 
Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Till another day in Minecraft. See ya! Arr, and welcome back to another episode from the Block Breaking SMP. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Arr, and welcome back to another episode from the Block Breaking SMP. What do you think of the boat, Crackers? Arr, crackers likes the boat. Arr. <laughs> it's not a boat, Crackers. It's a ship. Oh, that really hurts my throat. I'm not sure. <laughs> I was planning on doing the whole episode like this, guys, but um, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. <laughs> Arr. <clears throat> that hurts.